We begin our examination of the Romantics with the poet William Wordsworth, who lived from 1770 to 1850. Wordsworth was, if, if we could say, the, uh, the, the pillar of the Romantic movement. Wordsworth would be a pretty good candidate. Uh, he is certainly well, very well known, and he wrote a prodigious amount of poetry. Um, he was uh, very enamored of what was happening in France uh, during the late uh, 18th century, and the, and the sense for Wordsworth was that the French Revolution was going to be a great new thing, a wonderful new thing. He, um, he wrote about it frequently in his poetry, and uh, then it turned sour. You see, the French in 1789 decided to throw off the rule of the Enchant Regime, the old rulers and the nobility, and that was a great thing at first. But then they began to kill all the, the old uh, regime. The, all the people of the upper classes were put to death under the guillotine. And that began to devolve and devolve into a reign of terror where, where, where thousands of people were, were put to death under the guillotine. And the cities ran red with blood. So what had begun as brilliant and a glorious uh, surging of the human spirit began very, to become very violent and very horrible. And Wordsworth began to write poetry that was against that revolution, revolutionary spirit. He himself became the poet laureate of England for several years and uh, lived very ripe old age. But there's an important moment in history where he wrote a series of poems called the Lyrical Ballads with his friend Samuel Taylor Coleridge. And it was with the publication of the Lyrical Ballads that was published in 1798 to great acclaim that we get really the first instance of the Romantic movement in poetry coming into the ascendant. So we're going to be looking at some of the lyrical ballads here that were published by William Wordsworth and Samuel Coleridge. First with William Wordsworth, we'll be looking at a series of poems that deal primarily with the sense of man's separation from nature, from the world. And he embodies this sense of separation from the world in a character that he creates named Lucy. Lucy is a young girl whom the speaker of the poems loves, and she dies. And his loss, his sense of loss, is tremendous. Notice that the name Lucy has great significance. If you were to go to Latin and look up the word lux lucis, you'd find that it means light. And so Lucy means light. And throughout these poems, at least the first few in the Lucy poem set, you need to ask yourself, what does it mean that light disappears? The image of light is gone. So we'll move into the lyrical ballads and look at several of the lyrical ballads here, starting with Strange Fits of Passion Have I Known by William Wordsworth. <laughs> 